Lofoten in Norway is one of the most iconic places for landscape photographers with fjords and mountains and even the chance to see the northern lights. This was my first time travelling there and I was beyond excited. Little did I know what a disaster the whole trip would become. First was a train ride from Devon in the UK to London Heathrow Airport with several people coughing and sneezing, some of them not even bothering to cover their mouths. And then a short flight from London to Oslo. Next came a connecting flight to Tromso. I was sitting right next to a man who coughed the entire way and sometimes covered his mouth while he did so. I arrived at Tromso late at night and realised I'd accidentally booked into a hospital hotel for the night, which also seemed to have the world's narrowest beds. Next morning I took a taxi back to the airport to pick up the hire car and started what should have been a 7 hour drive to Lofoten. For some reason the car's GPS decided to take me on a scenic route which added an extra 2.5 hours onto the drive through rain and high winds. The hospital hotel room had really hard beds so not much sleep was had the night before. This made the drive feel even longer. It was on this mammoth drive that I started to get sick. Eventually I arrived at the accommodation in the driving wind and rain. Then I got sicker and sicker and basically spent the next three days in bed or on the couch watching Netflix. I only had four full days in Lofoten, so on the afternoon of the third day I put on many layers of clothes and forced myself to go for a short walk from the accommodation to try and get some photos. to go back to bed and rest and I can't believe I spent two days to get here and I'm sick and I have no energy to go out there. I mean look at that view. This is the accommodation where we're staying and I barely got enough energy <laughs> to walk up and down the stairs. The next day was the final full day in Lofoten and by the afternoon I had regained a bit of strength so I jumped in the car and drove a short way to the beautiful Uteklev beach. I wandered around this gorgeous location and even though the light and conditions were not perfect I managed to get a few photos. This at least made me feel like the trip was not an entire disaster. I can't wait to return to Lofoten one day to really do it justice in my photographs. I've saved my favourite photo till the end, I'll put that on screen in just a moment, but first if you're a landscape photography lover you should subscribe to my channel right now and make sure you hit that bell to turn on notifications. So this is my favourite photo from Lofoten, I hope to see you in the next video.